Be there, magazine is streaming live. Fifty greatest basketball players in DC. It had all the best high school players in Philly from 1946 up to 2000. Um, it's called the Markham Book. Um, go if you go out to Ted Silverly, S I L S I L A R Y dot com, you'll see the book of the list. Every All Star team, high school All Star team in Philly. In every league, the Interact, the Catholic, and the Public League, since 1946 up until 2000. But the, the so website, the web, the website goes up to 2009. I got the book. I let Red see the book back in like 2000. He was like, "We need something like this in DC, man." I was like, "Yeah, this is how we can." But, but a guy, a guy did that. There's a guy, and I've been looking for the guy. A guy did it. His his website, I think, is. DC NII Sports District. And he did it from the 20s to about 1970. Wow. He went back to the 20s. I ain't heard of basketball. He got. He got. Oh, yeah. He's fast. 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 It's just like, I'm surprised when I look at all the names here in D.C. Because I know these cats may have played other places. If you looked at the Philly High School joint like that, you would say the same thing. Like, oh, that dude played. I heard that name because I heard him in college. He played here, there. The good thing is, like I said, I played against a lot of these cats. I even saw them, you know, back in those days. I, I was blessed enough to play in the Sunny Hill League. I wasn't no star, but I could hold my own. And um, it's, it was just a blessing to come up in that time. Yeah, he said that brand new thing. A buddy of mine's on there. And I said, I'm GM of Oklahoma. Okay. And we were talking. And I got him to come in and talk at another center I was working at for two of my part timers. One guy has graduated and he was from D2 or NAI school looking to get into the program. And the other guy was thinking about walking away from his senior year. And I said, you know what? Uh -uh. Let me get Troy to come in and talk to you. And I knew what Troy. face when he said, well, what are you doing this summer? And one dude said, well, I'm playing at Berry Farm. And he said, yeah, that's where it's at here now. Right. And it's funny that, <clears throat> you know, 20 years ago, it might have been the Canter League or someplace else, but it'll always matriculate to the next place. And now it's Berry Farm, right? Yeah. But it, and that's where it all started. We went out there last year. 50 Greatest Back to Back. And we saw, uh, magazine uh, streaming live.